Flashlight zone. I don't care. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, friends are some of the biggest influences in your life. And so, explaining how, how that is, I chose my friend Brad. I've known him since the end of seventh grade um, to now. We're still like really good friends and everything, but like my thing with friends is we're always like tricks to each other. Cause like, I mean, what else are you supposed to do with friends? You gotta like show them how nice you are to each other. Okay, so I'll get back on top. He's basically one of the few people that's like made me laugh a lot over the few years. And uh, with that, um, like, why he's such a good guy, we never talk about girls together. Like, that's, that's the best thing to do when you're with friends. You don't talk about relationships, you just talk about, like, what's going on in your life. And seeing as how he's, like, the biggest nerd I know, he doesn't really have a girlfriend. I mean, that's, I know that sounds really mean, but, like, yeah, that's how friends are. And one of the other reasons what we do is, um, whenever we're together, we'll also talk about music a lot. Because he's, like, he can play the violin really well. Like, well enough that I'm kind of jealous. Because <laughs> I hated the violin. He loves that instrument so much. He's so weird. And so, um, like, after I met him, like, I was able to tell a lot more jokes. Because, well, I had friends that I could um, test them out on. No matter how bad they may be. And uh, whenever I would tell those jokes, he would laugh really hard, which whenever he would do that, I'd know they were terrible, because pity laughter. And whenever they were bad, he'd tell me to shut up and you know, stop. Great friendships. And, um, and so with him, I've learned that like a lot of people will laugh at what I have to say. Um, and with those, that laugh, um, I'll be able to do more with stuff, and that's about all my speech. That sounded like a roasting session. <laughs> <laughs>